This is how to get the absolute best quality audio when you're live streaming or making videos. So if you guys are part of the DJ Connect right now, you know that we have got masterminds going on every single month. This is where we hop on Zoom together as a group and we figure out what's going on in your DJ career and how we fix it. So a lot of times it's gonna be about like scratching or beat matching. And this is where it is very important that we just get a very solid audio audio feed. If you don't have a solid audio feed, I'm not going to be able to hear what's going on and kind of how you're performing. So this is a very, very simple setting setup that if you haven't set up live streaming before, this is something that you need to know. Like if you're getting into live streaming, this is something you must understand. And depending on which controller you have, like whether it's Rain or Pioneer or Denon, it's been solved by Serato where you can just come in here, hit your settings cog wheel up here. You're going to come to the audio tab and then you're going to see right here make audio available in other applications and we're going to hit check here. Um, there is something that you got to go through installing this virtual audio cable. It's not very difficult but you'll understand why once you go through the process. When I had a Pioneer controller this is something that I had to use but now that I'm back on a Rain 72 like a Rain mixer once you plug your USB in you're, you're live and you're good to go. There's nothing that you kind of need to set up past that other than selecting which which channel you're on. But when I had my Pioneer Rev 7 out, I had to record with this. I had to install my virtual audio cable and then it made it where I didn't have to install anything else. I was just able to plug my USB in and I was good to go. So once you've got your Serato setting set up, and this is something that you have to check every single time that you open Serato. So make sure you come in here every time and have that selected. But again, it just comes down to which controller you use. Right now I'm using my Rain 72. So it has, once I plug my USB in, I'm connected immediately. There's nothing further that I have to set up. If you check out my OBS window right here, you'll see, you'll see that I just have this one audio setting right here, Rain 3. It's not connected right now. I haven't turned it on because I'm going to show you what that looks like in a second. So once you've got your Serato set up, we're just going to jump right over into Zoom. If we're doing group coaching where it's going to be a bunch of guys on a call, we're always going to be using Zoom. So this is something you, you have to make sure is set up. And if you guys want to be a part of the mastermind, make sure you go to the djconnect.com, sign up for the monthly membership. This is free and included. So if you need coaching in your DJ career, make sure you join this. This is the cheapest coaching that you're ever going to get one-on-one. -on -one. So once you're in Zoom, you're just going to hit hit your button here. You're going to go to settings and then you're going to come over here to first you'll go to video. And what you'll notice is this camera isn't available right now because I'm talking to you on it right now. So it's not there, but essentially this is where you would come to change your camera. So if you've got multi camera setups, you can come here, you go to your OBS one, you can go to your GoPro camera. None of them are plugged in. So you're not getting a feed, but if I switch to my overhead camera, you're gonna get the feed. So this is the same thing. This is all you need to know. I would always recommend having a USB webcam plugged in where I can either see like an overhead view or I can just see your hands on the deck or I can see your hands on the deck. I just gotta see what you're doing, how you're mixing so I can tell you where you're going wrong and what to fix. Next up, the only next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come to your audio tab right here. Uh, and then it's literally, you're just coming here. So. Right now it's set to my Focusrite USB audio. My Focusrite is my sound card. So if you wanted to just use like an XLR cable from your master out and then plug it into your Focusrite as an input, that'll work and there's nothing else that you gotta set up. It's, it's good to go, it's done. Or you'll have so many different options. So you'll see right here, I got my webcam. I got another webcam. You'll see I got this virtual audio cable right here. This is the one that we were talking about. So if you're using Serato settings right here, virtual audio cable, this is it. This is the one you'd be using down here, virtual audio cable. We're not using that. What we're using is my rain mixer. So this is where we're going to turn the mixer on so you can see what the difference is. If you got a Pioneer, you're probably going to have to use the virtual audio cable. But once you see I turn my rain on, you're going to see it with the rain. You're literally just plugged right in and you're good to go. Now that it's connected, let's check right here. So here you go. You got all of your rain 72s like it's literally right here. Uh, you can do a multi-channel. So if you want to use all the channels, especially with the 72, this is something that you got to figure out, like which is your master channel, because you're going to have channels just for your mic. You got channels for the mixer. You got to figure out which one is which. On this one, I know for sure that it's five and six. I would assume that this one here, multi-channel would work as well, but I do know that 
five and six is kind of my my master channel so that's the one i would select now if we just jump over to obs as well you'll see that here we go device is showing line five and six here as well so let's just put a song on see what happens so now we got everything set up we're just gonna hit play here so now that we got everything set up we're just gonna hit play here and you'll see right away we got sound coming in let's just make sure that it's both channels as well so let's flip this over let's hit this one hit we'll hit play we got audio again so we know that both channels we got sound coming out even though you can't hear it the sound is there and the sound is moving through so that's all we need to know is that the sound is there and we're good to go the next setting that we cannot mess up so you just got to figure out which is your sound card you're gonna pick it whichever one you want to use like i have so many sound cards here so many different ways to get audio but i want the best audio so i'm gonna pick it directly from the mixer like this is a usb right into the mixer you're getting a clear feed directly into zoom uh, next thing that you want to set is right down here this is mandatory your audio profile make sure you put original sound for musicians don't have anything out no ai no nothing no high fidelity no cancellation you just want to have a just original sound they do have this live performance audio but it says beta so i'm not even playing with that if you want to try it out and play around with it that's fine but you have to make sure before you hop on that your audio is right or we're not going to be able to hear you and we're just going to move on to the next person other than that that that's all of the settings that you need to worry about you just got your speakers like where is your sound coming from obviously mine's coming through the focus right because that's kind of my head unit um you could always use you could do the same thing here you could turn this to your focus right as well and plug from your master from your mixer right into here into your microphone input that'll give you a feed as well or you can set up this virtual audio cable there's three options right here to get sound out of serato and once you understand this process it's the same for any program i will show you skype as well and then i'll just show you my obs settings but once you're set up on one you're set up across everything on any program this is just all you have to do um, so same thing you're gonna go to your settings panel you're gonna come to audio video and then we got the same thing so microphone right now it's got my GoPro camera this is the same thing like which camera do you want to use overview this one won't show because it's already in use with us you got your OBS virtual cam or your GoPro I use GoPro when I'm on Skype because that's the one that's pointed at my decks and then next up is just your microphone so we've been here already like we know what this is now it's going to be my rain 72 channel 5 and 6 but before i was still using um my focus right with the pioneer but once again all you're doing is you're setting the channel that works i know this one is five and six so now we're set ready to go let's throw some music on boom we got sound let's try it again boom we got sound we are good to go perfect audio feed and with this there's no other settings that you got to change this is it and last but not least we're just hopping into obs so it's the exact same thing i got my line five and six here and i'm good to go here's my webcam that we can't see so right now you see that my yeti mic is giving us sound but we're not using the yeti mic when we're mixing this is only for when i'm talking to you right now right here the one we're looking at right now is going to be our rain three so right now when it's invisible it's not in my list here but once you click it you're good to go and this is obviously to lock it we're not going to worry about locking it so you're going to see here rain three let's give it some music boom we got audio now that one's nothing's there gone but we still got the rain three rain three is moving let's change the channel rain three is moving and just one more time let's turn the virtual audio cable back on boom everything's working